The electric vehicles of the future glide elegantly through traffic. Futurologists say the sky's the limit. The products of the future have to remain attractive. They have to be functional, environmentally and economically sound, and also aesthetically pleasing. Electric cars tend to emphasize their practical virtues. Here in Europe, they look much the same as regular cars. Elsewhere, car makers are more adventurous. MIT has come up with the idea of stackable cars. The Asian manufacturers like Honda and Mitsubishi are experimenting with new vehicle concepts of that kind. That also conveys emotional values, but not the ones we're used to. 125 years of car design have left their mark. It's hard to shake off past traditions and think outside the box. Researchers at Essen's Folkwang University are trying to combine the tried and tested with groundbreaking ideas. For example, a car of this kind could maneuver into the most awkward spaces. Or this saucer-shaped model with an open interior. Indications of what we can expect from cars in the future. If people still own private cars in the future, they will have customized vehicles. They won't come off the conveyor belt, but from a 3D printer, and will be made from recyclable plastic. So I'll be able to print out my vehicle after I've designed it on the Internet. Here in Germany, there seems to be little interest in such trailblazing ideas at the moment. Braunschweig researchers have observed that German car drivers tend to prefer more down-to-earth designs. The French tend to be bold and build vehicles that make designers think, how courageous and innovative. But they tend to flop, because they're maybe a bit too cutting-edge to please the general public. People don't go out and buy them because they don't see their lifestyle reflected in the design. You notice if someone has been bold because it immediately has a negative impact on sales figures. Adventurous models simply don't tend to sell. You learn from that, and it makes you think in a more conservative way. The Braunschweig researchers are collaborating on a project to devise a vehicle to deliver mail, developed and designed by Volkswagen. Is the ET the van of the future? From the outside, it offers few surprises. But inside, it's a different matter. The ET doesn't need a driver. Mail workers can operate the vehicle by remote control. This allows them to get on with the job of delivering letters. The Niels is a spacier looking Volkswagen idea. Rival car maker Opel also sees individual mobility taking on a similar form. Climate change will force us to change the way vehicles are powered and manufactured. They'll have to be vehicles that can be completely recycled. At present, building and running vehicles requires an enormous amount of resources. That will no longer be feasible in the future. Vehicles will have to be easy to assemble with recyclable constituent parts. When it comes to innovation, the car industry is proving to be rather sluggish right now. But one thing is certain. The future of motoring will hold some exciting developments.